Aide Pacheco has been living in this public housing project for the past 40 years. The last time it had some improvements done was in 1996, she says. A few weeks ago, some builders showed up. Now is the second time since I've been here that they are fixing the project. But it's just a facelift. They're not fixing anything inside. They want the outside to look good, but water leaks through all the apartments. This 58-year-old grandmother voted for Ricardo Rosselló, the governor of Puerto Rico, who's been asked by his new progressive party and a large majority of the people on the island to resign. I sincerely voted for Ricky Rosselló. I believed in his promises, and when all this mess started, I was reluctant to believe it. But as time went by, I understood how bad it is. Many believed that Rosselló could turn the economy around and get Puerto Rico on a road to recovery after the devastation caused by Hurricane Maria. But it did not happen. Corruption scandals plagued his cabinet instead. The island is recovering from the disaster, but at a painfully slow pace. The infrastructure has been neglected. That's why many ask, where are the billions of dollars allocated for Puerto Rico's recovery? The Congress of the United States handed them $92 billion. And that $92 billion is in the hands of incompetent people and very corrupt people. But the governor has done a terrible job. One reason people like Aide hasn't seen much progress is because Congress has only allocated $42.5 billion for disaster relief. And the island has received less than $14 billion through May, according to federal data. The bulk of aid remains in Washington, as officials are required to submit plans on how the money will be used in order to get federal approval. It will create some more red tape, so the disbursement of the funds will take longer as we have no credit, this administration has no credibility whatsoever with the federal government, at least with the Republican Party. Even the public schools are short in funds. Aide complained to me about the supplies list for her grandson's next school year. Basically what she's telling me is that they're asking them to bring towel paper, toilet paper, and cleaning wipes to the school. This grandmother, like many others encountered, during these days of protest, believe that this time it will all change. Finally, I know that from now on, we will move forward and everything will be okay. Mitza Soledad Perez, CGTN, San Juan, Puerto Rico.